And me too. It ain't just you. It's me too. It's me too. So we doing this shit together. I've been out two years. You've been with me a year and a half. Bro. I went through trials and tribulations. It hurt. I still go through it. And like I said, I'm having this conversation with you in front of the world because I want them to know how smart you are. We're going to go through this shit together. But it's really time for you to really buckle down in life. Just like it's time for me to buckle down in life. We all fuck up. We all fall off. And I want you to know that I don't expect you to be perfect. I don't expect you to transition because you got to understand when you go to school, everybody finna know you. I put you in a small school where it ain't no public school. You probably got like a hundred kids that go there. Maybe. You in a class with probably like 10 people. You're not in a class with a lot of people. You're in a class so the teacher can focus on you. On, on more, do more focus on you versus 20 kids or 16 kids. No jury is school. So don't sneak your, your jury, don't sneak your watch, don't sneak your chain to school. Don't sneak your phone to school. You and Kayla going to the same school. Kaylee gonna be allowed to have her phone. Why you think I'm allowing Kaylee to have her phone in and not you? She more smarter than me. She more disciplined than you. You know what discipline mean? What discipline mean? If you don't know, don't say you know and just ask me what it means, I'm gonna tell you. I know what it means. What it means. She ain't grow up like, say what? Compare, script. They didn't let her do no anything. Discipline, I'm going to give you a deeper definition of discipline. Discipline is when she can go to school and not pull her phone out unless it's an emergency. Discipline is when what you're going to be doing. I'm going to give you your routine. This is going to be Monday through Friday. Check me out. Monday through Friday, you're going to get up 5, 6 in the morning because y'all got to drive 40 minutes, 50 minutes to get to Houston. You're going to go to school. No phone. Check me out, though. You give me two, three months. I get about two months. I start letting you take your phone to school once or twice out the week. Fuck up, I'm taking it again. Alright. By the time you make it home, it'll be 5 o'clock, 4.45, 5 o'clock. I had a long talk with Miss George, and we put this together. I'll come straight home, get yourself cleaned up, do your homework. Now check this out. I ain't just no doing no homework and then going to your regular activities. You're going to do the homework and whatever adult available, me, Lil Jew, Sugar, Big Jew, whoever, I want you, Joyce, you take your homework to them. And you're going to get it right before you jump into your activities. Now you see what I'm you see what I'm going with about the transition? You in the sixth grade. You a king in math. No English is poor. And it's all right. I'm poor in certain areas. I ain't judging you. I'm just telling you that. It's time for you to really buckle down. Now, I ain't saying go off and grow up and be to college and all that old. I ain't, that ain't where I'm going with it. Because I believe in being your own boss. I believe in 
going to school, learning how to read, write, spell, do math, you're going to decide to take something up in college, take up business management. So you can learn business, financial literature, meaning how to talk numbers. Well, motherfucker can't talk over your head. The words they use when they talking big numbers and shit. Because you won't be rich, right? The only way you're going to get rich is you know this shit, man. You got to know this shit. You can't don't think you just going to get rich and stay rich. You can go get 30, 40 million dollars today. If you ain't got financial literature, if you ain't got good money management, if you don't know how to save, if you don't know how to budget, if you want to pop it every day and go out and drink every day and buy jewelry all the time and buy cars all the time, you're going to go broke. And you're going to be back in the hood. It's real. It's not a game. It's real. Like you will literally go broke. You will literally lose it all. And you don't learn. So me, as a father figure to you, I got to go ahead and install that in you now. See, I ain't had this. Little Miss George right there. I ain't had this. Did nobody do this to me. You see what I'm saying? But you got me. But you got to understand that I ain't being hard on you for nothing. I want to see you do better than me, bro. I can't let you go down that road, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you come home and you do your homework and it's done right, see, that's what's going to make you focus. You're going to be ready to get to that game. You're going to be ready to get to that phone. The other kids, they got to lay down at eight. You and Kaylee, I'm going to get you out at nine. Nine thirty. But see, this is the thing with the nine, nine thirty, though. At the nine, nine thirty, everything go off. The TV, the phone, ain't no YouTube TV, ain't no straight dog. Straight sleep. So you can wake up, have a fresh brain for school the next day. What's on your mind? Talk to me. You ready? What do you think? What do you think you're gonna go wrong with? What do you think? What do you think that maybe you might think that you might have a hard a hard time with? Going to sleep. You take melatonin? But see, this is the thing. Do what you got to understand. Um, this is the thing. This is what you got to understand. The faster you can learn and finish your homework and the right way, the quicker you can get to your activity. Come on to sleep. We'll work on it. They will start. I'm gonna lie to you, George. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna holler for them to come here. Okay. You used to him? Yeah. Oh, because I'm just saying, he put his hands. Yeah, we're having our talk. Oh. Hey! Run upstairs and get them right quick, please. Get them real quick. Don't put the shoes on. How's that going? His ass ain't got no choice. Well, we know that. His ass ain't got no choice. See, I had a choice. 
That's the gift. Like, motherfucker talk to me and then ain't no, ain't no government. I ain't nobody to govern me. There wasn't nobody to watch over me. And that's why I appreciate you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we got it. We got it. We gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' I ain't have nobody to put the pressure on me. They always told me. They always but they, they didn't show that that consistency or that love. Go put your shoes on. Go we'll put your shoes on, help you get this stuff out of trouble. The love that I love you so yeah, I love you so I'm gonna stay on your ass because I want you to do right. I want you to be better than me. That's what they have to understand. Well, Lil Jew is. Lil Jew! Yeah. Lil Jew! Yeah. Help Joyce, uh, Big Jew. Lil Jew! You have to understand. Go get Lil Come on, I ain't doing I'm gonna say this though. You really got to come down and stir like this. See how nice, how humble she came down and stir. Came down and stir like you 300 pounds. You weigh 70 pounds. What's up? Miss Joy needs some help. She got a lot of stuff in the home. Might be. Oh, well, she got surprised with her, but she got cooked today because I got too much to do. It's all good. It's all good. Let me get through with him. Right. You gotta put this shit in your mind. You can't just say, I gotta do this. You gotta wanna do this. You can't just say, oh my, I gotta do this or I ain't gonna, oh my, if I don't do this, I ain't gonna get my, it gotta be like, nah, I'm finna do this shit. I'll get the phone later, like, I need to focus. Let me get through my homework, not to get to my game or get to my phone or get to my activities, but let me do my homework and really learn it, right here, and right here. Sometimes when you read, you gotta read it again. Long story short, bro. For real, for real. It's finna get hard for you, bro. Your life finna transition. That's why I ain't been having you on social media like that and doing that because I've been getting you ready to like, transition. It's time for you to go to school. It's time for you to get your discipline level. It's time for you to go hard. Talk to me. Seeing how it's gonna go. It's cause this how it's gonna go. Ain't no seeing how it's gonna what you mean see how it's gonna go like but like, see how you feel while you while you going along. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do you wanna learn? Yeah. Do you want to be a better person? Do you really, really want to learn? Do you really, really want to be a better person? What things that you want to do different? Cool, but 
I don't, I ain't gonna never suggest you go work for the white man. I ain't gonna never suggest you go work for the world. You wanna be a doctor? You gonna be a doctor, get your degrees, and then you gonna go get your own personal building. And be a doctor and you have your own people under you that do what you say. Not nobody telling you when to come in and when to go home and what you can and can't do. You gonna be a boss at the end of the day. I'm talking about different as in your day-to-day -day activities. What you want, what you want, what you think you can be better in? Well, she was talking to somebody else. She was arguing 
with somebody else, right? She was arguing with my other sister, and she asked me a personal question. I ain't gonna say it on this lie. It's true police. But she asked me a question, and I said, yeah, and I agreed with it, and it was true. But do you feel like at 11 years old that you should be indulging in them type of conversation? How are your sister? Mm -hmm. I think she's about Why is you indulging in a grown woman conversation? She asked me a personal question. All right. Well, right you finna learn today. No, ma'am. That don't go upstairs. Now, it's certain things that she don't even need to ask you. It's certain hey, shit that buddy. you shouldn't even answer. Your, your, your response needs to be. I ain't gonna lie, that ain't got nothing to do with me. But if it ain't helping me, if you ain't hurt, if you ain't bleeding, if you ain't, ain't nobody harmed you. They ain't fighting. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know what they fighting for. I know. But what could you, you do? What was your answer? Did it have a real purpose? Yeah. A real life threatening purpose. I was about some money that you ain't got nothing to do with. Know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing to do with what they arguing for. You ain't got nothing to do with what they fighting for. You ain't. So you got to start telling your peers, the people that you talk to, the grown family members. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't know that. If you can't teach me something, I really ain't even trying to be on the phone with y'all. Focus. You know what focus mean? What it mean? Focus means that you only worried about what you got going on. You putting all your attention, everything that you do into what you got going on. You ain't worrying about what Big Drew doing. You ain't worried about what Little Drew. It's cool to see it, to hear it. But man, I ain't worried about that. I'm trying to learn this right here. I can't get over this math problem. This math problem is fucking with me. And y'all going back upstairs. I can't pass this test. I need to be focused on trying to pass this test. I need to be focused on this math problem. I don't want to hear about y'all fight. I'm glad you're straight though. You ain't gotta be mean. I'm glad y'all straight though, but I don't wanna hear about this fight. Guess what I mean by your transition finna get hard. You think I've been hard on you, I'm finna get harder on you. And I got somebody to help me. But you know why we're doing it, right? No? You don't know? Yeah, I finna see. You don't have no clue. You can be nonchalant. You yeah, I finna no see. Clue. And you know I know you know, right? Because we ain't had a conversation before, right? Because why? Well, what? Better for who? And because I what? What y'all coming down here for? Oh, because I want the paper to get in this kitchen and help. I'm having a talk right now. Can you hear oh. a few minutes? Okay, go back upstairs. It's okay to be a kid, bro. That's because we love you and we care about you. And we want better for you. We don't want you to experience the things that we had to experience or go through. Right now, I'm the thing you should be focusing on is going to school, having fun, kicking it with your little friends or hanging oh, out. Friend. You ain't got to have no friends. Listen, you can listen. This is what I'm Associates, saying. Associates. Let this, me say that. This is what I'm gonna say. This, this right here. You lack being around kids. 
Because you indulge in so much grown folk shit. I'm sending you to school because I feel like you need to be around more activities. Football. I've been asking to do this though. Been asking to do what? Go to school. But you don't want to go. I asked this in last year. No, you didn't. You said, when I don't these niggas say, I want to do it in the car. I want, I want, I want to stay on. I want to stay at home. The only reason why I stayed, the only reason why I stayed last year. You paid that for out of water real quick. The only reason why I stayed last year because the times it was cool. All right, well, 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 well fuck that. Scratch that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, what you been saying you want to do? Now you finna do it. See what I'm saying? You finna do it. You say you want to do it, and then you finna do it. And you gonna get in some type of activity. I know you might be too short to play basketball and oh, shit. Yeah. Man, he shot them all. They need a two way. Yeah, but they have them little bitty motherfuckers be the coldest ones out there. You know how to play basketball? Uh, Don't start applauding for this live, bro. Uh, like the little AAU teams and stuff like that, they be the little, little bitty motherfuckers. And you be like, God damn. Mm -hmm. I just feel like you need to be around more kids, bro. What, what you think when I said that? How did you feel yesterday when you went to Gigi house and hanging out with us yesterday? How did that make you feel? All right. Boy, you was smiling like hell in that picture. <laughs> what a picture! <laughs> That's why I sent it to her. Yeah. You were happy? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, look. Ha 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 Damn. And talk more shit than a little bit. Yeah. Can you play softball? Can you stand sizing you up? What? It's time, bro. What? They bring wash your hands, okay? And whenever you want to talk to me, you can come talk to me. Ain't nobody trying to hurt you. Time, bro. It's done on it. I ain't gonna hold you up. It's over with it. And it starts tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. It's been, it's been a bit crew. Five in the morning. Five in the morning. Zoe, when are you gonna take them to the mall and get the rest of their clothes? I'm gonna do that as soon as we get this stuff put up. I'll let you and Harry get them together and make them. Put the stuff up in the kitchen. She gonna put it up. But all the chips and stuff need to go in, in y'all stuff, so they don't run through them because it's for lunch. I don't need no chips staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need. She can take them hundred bones out that closet because every time I walk in that closet, put them under the bed. <laughs> put that shit under the bed somewhere up under the sofa. You know last night. Man, I don't that. need no laughing tables and shit staring at me, man. We had that peanut butter cake. He turned around. He said, "My damn, I should have turned around." <laughs> <laughs> Think it's a guy, don't you? <laughs> no, I'm dead. No. Think it's a guy. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. So ain't that make you laugh, make you cry. No, I'm just looking at you. Listen, you ever heard that saying? Remember what I'm saying? So ain't that make you laugh, no, I'm make just, I'm just looking at that. What? 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 what you, what's that? Oh, right. What? What? Oh, right there. What's that? It was right there. Nah, it's, fuck that. Well, it's now, left you though. Nah, it's left. What's up? Two weeks, we're gonna come back to this. 
see what's going on. Yeah, ain't no need. Well, me and Joyce gonna oh, take you to get you some clothes I, and get I, your hair did. I need to you can get your shit dreaded. You can get some real dreads. It's already gonna be long, so you ain't got to worry about going through the Tussie Roll phase. Tussie Roll? A little bit of Tussie Roll on your head. Oh, you're so messy. So I told him Kaylee gonna be allowed to school with her phone. He not. Oh, but she know. Kaylee already know. I'm two feet of what she's saying. Mm hmm. Yep. Hopefully I'm pushing for next year for her to get her permit so she can be driving to school. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't ready, I ain't ready for that to be on my on my on my conscience. Oh Lord, no, not yet. I get about two more years. Oh damn. Not next year. I get my license by That's two. cool, but not taking you to school. You be hit the block. That's good. I'll take that. You don't express weight get on the toll or something. I'll take that. But I ain't baby, baby be driving for she do. You think so? I know so. Cause I've been wanting to drive since I was twelve. Baby has more patience and she listens. This one don't listen. I'm this one. She she gonna be a rock rock around to my tree. Actually, we gonna be on one wheel while we turn. See, remember why. how Mama almost had us on one wheel when we was in the van? Yeah, yeah you gonna be one of the one got to save your money up to get your own car. <laughs> Put you on a street, a street saving schedule. Get your own car. But I'm gonna holler at you, my boy. Give me a hood. No. Get ready, my boy. No, she need a cash car, twenty five hundred. That is already gonna put 